Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to another Layer by Layer. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at a woodworking project and how I'm using the Arrange feature in Fusion 360. So let's just jump right into it. So here we are in Fusion 360. I'm putting together this fake fireplace for the holidays and it's a pretty fun project. So uh, originally we have this cabinet and we thought it'd be cool to modify the cabinet to make it look like a fake fireplace. So I, I've designed this little fireplace that's supposed to kind of uh, fit over the existing cabinets. So what I've done is I've measured out the, uh, the the existing cabinet and I brought it into Fusion 360 using user parameters. I specified the length, the width, the depth, and even the thickness of the material. That way I can better uh, figure out uh, how, to, how to structure this thing. So the fireplace itself uh, is its own component and so is the cabinet. So it's really easy to kind of switch between them. So inside the fireplace uh, to make use of the arrange feature and even other features like animations, uh, you definitely want to have components for everything. So every board here, every plank, every board is uh, its own component. So if I drill into like the top here, you can see the top here has an individual uh, board for each one of these. And you can totally uh, patternize components, which is what I've done here for the top boards. It's just a copy of these three boards. Uh, and that's that's pretty much how I put that together. So a little bit of just how uh, to structure a woodworking project. You probably want to have all of the uh, all of the pieces of wood be its own component, and then uh, try to figure out uh, how to segment those. So for example, I have here as the front, that's one section. I have uh, the left and the right panels is their own section. The top panel is its own section, and then I've I've duplicated, I've mirrored uh, the bottom base to become the front base. So you put all that together and then you have uh, your fake fireplace. I even have a little extra stuff like the skirt. I don't really need that there, but there it is. Another thing, I haven't quite uh, made any like uh, screw holes or anything like that because I just plan to use brad nails or maybe even some wood glue. Uh, but that's pretty much how I structured it. So the next thing I want to talk about is a range. So a range is a fairly new feature. It came out a couple months ago and it's now a part of the design workspace. So if you want to turn that on, you want to go up to your profile, go under preferences here, and then here you can uh, enable it. So under the design tab uh, section here, you're going to find enable arrange in simplified tools. So be sure to turn that on. If you want to use it in the manufacturing workspace, like if you want to laser cut or CNC, uh, go to the previews feature section here, scroll down until you get to manufacturer, and there's a range. So you can turn that on if you want to use it in your, um, in your manufacturing workspace. So I'll hit OK, I have it on. If it's a couple months later, you probably won't need to turn it on because it'll just be there. So where is it? I'd really like it to see under assemble because it makes sense, but it's actually under modify. So if you go under modify, um, right here is a range. And if you roll over it, it gives you a nice little thumbnail that tells you right away what it's doing. So if you have a design that you want to laser cut and you want to flat pack all of your, of your things, great way to do so. Um, so that's great. So Let's say I want to. I just want to do the quickest way to do this. So I'll bring up the arrange. So I'll back again under modify. Click on arrange. Now, when I first started playing with this, I thought, okay, just click on the entire fireplace, and that selects everything for me. That's kind of nice, but it's kind of not nice at the same time. Um, it's great if you really want to do this uh, as fast as possible, um, and 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 whatever result Fusion gives you is what you'll get. So let's take a look. So you have the option to select a plane or a sketch. I'm just going to go ahead and select the plane because I don't have a sketch. So I'll do it on this floor plane here. And then what you need to do is say you need to specify uh, a maximum length and a maximum width. Um, if you don't know what your, uh, what your measurements are, I guess you can figure it out or just sum up with something. So I'll just put in 50, rather 80 by 50 because that's a pretty big one. So I'll put 80 by 50. As soon as you enter a number, uh, if you look down here, Fusion's already calculating how to sort out this stuff. And here it is. It took a couple seconds, but here it is. All of the panels of wood have been um, laid out here with a border spacing and item separation that you specified. By default, it's a quarter inch, which is nice, but you can increase that or decrease that as you like. And it's an OK. I think what the range is doing is it's trying to pack as much as it can in that space, which makes sense. Um, but if you're trying to create like, um, a plan where you want to segment your pieces, I found to use multiple sketches and multiple arrange features works really well. So instead of just selecting your whole design and just letting Fusion go to town on the sorting it, you can sort it out yourself. So that's what I've done. So let me show you how I've sorted it out. 
so the first thing I wanted to sort out was these three panels here in the front and these three uh, panels on the inside. So I created a sketch and um, even with this sketch, I figured ah, I'll split it into two sketches. Uh, so the first one is this one sketch and then using the range uh, feature, I drop those three in here. So that's how um, I'm able to do that. And one thing to know is that Fusion kind of automatically picks a side that you want. I quite haven't figured out how to um, select uh, an edge and go to that edge. It just kind of goes to wherever it wants. So uh, as you're creating your sketch, uh, you can add dimensions uh, to tell it where exactly you want it. If you right click on your sketch, show dimensions, you can see the dimensions without having to drive into the sketch, which is really nice. So if I wanted to push this further out, let's say 30, I can update that value or undo that value. And that's really nice. Cool. So I got that one. The next sketch I created um, is this guy over here. And it's just a little bit overlap. It's like um, it's overlapping a little bit, but not by much. And you can see here I have about 31 inches uh, going that way. And it's all going from the center sketch. So I'm just pushing my square or my rectangle away from the center sketch uh, to create this, uh, this arrangement. So I got that arrangement. Um, all I did was I selected those three on the inside, and now I have these two. So if you're wondering, well, why didn't you just use one sketch for those um, six panels? Uh, because I, I have more control over them. So if I want to push them further or in or like change the layout a little bit, I like having that control, and I like having things separated like that. So that's cool. The next things are, let's take a look. The next thing is uh, the base plates. So if I go back, you can see that um, my base plates here, my base boards, these three here, is just a copy of the three up there. So I'm um, just three copies there. So I select that, create a sketch, and then place it there. Let's take a look at the sketch. Pretty simple. Right click, show dimensions. You can see the dimension for that one. Not too bad. Um, so it looks really good. And I just figured I'd push it off to the side over there so it's not uh, uh, too close to it. And if I keep going forward, you'll see some more. This next one here is all the side panels. All the side panels are about the same. It's just uh, seven of these panels that are out here. Is it seven or eight? I can't remember. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But there's that many there. And um, if you look at the sketch, same thing. It's uh, a really simple sketch, 38 by 38. And then I just uh, have it centered here with the, with the center sketch, so not too bad. All right, moving forward. The next one is the front panels. The front panels has the shorter boards and two longer boards. And then all that leaves here is the simple um, five panels here and then two supports. So if I go forward, we can see how that works there. And there we go, very nice. So now if we step back, you can see just how much more clear that is to me. So I can now use this to visually see and separate my segments um, how I want to build it. So that is really, really nice. Instead of just using one sketch um, to in one arrangement, I'm using several of them so I can better fine tune the sortment. And one thing to note is that Fusion's um, auto sorting is kind of funky, right? So here's an example of it. So for this top section here, it, you see how it's 40 inches wide or long, right? There's plenty of room to work with. But watch what happens when I change this to 30. For whatever reason, uh, one of these boards is no longer uh, oriented. It's, it's now like this edge is now oriented with this edge as opposed to this edge being oriented with that edge and that edge. I don't know why Fusion's doing that. If I even make it smaller, it, uh, it does that. It just keeps getting, it, it kind of stays. So I'm going to keep, now that I've got it even shorter, now it's kind of fixed it. So you do want to keep fudging your numbers if, you're, if your sortment isn't quite what you want. So in this case, I did that. So now what we can do, we can probably flip this around. So I'll say this is now 15, and it quite won't let me do that because it, it, it errors out here. It's saying I can't do that with your arrangement. So um, if I just... Roll the, the, the history marker before I create it. Maybe I can do it here. So this would be 15 and this would be 40. Let's see if, if Fusion will do what we think it's going to do. Is it going to flop everything over? It does, so that's nice. And then because I have dimensions set for the position of the rectangle, I can push this out to 10 inches going up. And now I have it uh, a different orientation. So that's one way I really, really like the right-click show and hide dimensions feature inside of sketches. That is my favorite thing to do. 
Um, but that's it. Uh, I, I'm interested to see how other folks are using uh, the arrangement in their design workspace or using in your manufacturing workspace. Again, I don't plan to laser cut this or CNC route this because it's a pretty simple woodworking project, uh, but I think it's gonna uh, help uh, with future projects like this where I, I have these simple woodworking projects. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And of course, don't forget to make a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one.